In light of Friday's tragic shootings in Newtown, Connecticut, many people are now calling for tighter gun control, a topic our guest Paul Helmke is very familiar with. So, Paul, in addition to serving as Fort Wayne's mayor for three terms, you were the former president of the uh, Brady campaign to prevent gun violence. That's right. Tell me what your thoughts were immediately after you heard about the shooting. Uh, I just did combination of just being angry that we allow something like this to happen again and just shocked at the the horrific nature of this evil that that, that entered that school it's just uh, I mean it's it still tugs at my heart and it has to tug at anyone's heart anyone who's ever sent a kid off to school anyone that that cares about our children I had a wife that was a kindergarten teacher here for 36 years it just it really hits home and we need to stop these sorts of things from happening if we can. Well, my guess is no matter which side of the aisle you are on when it comes to gun control, we all had that same initial gut reaction. I, I thought the president's comment last night was a good one, and that is that we, we can't keep going on doing nothing. And it's, it's not easy. There's no one simple solution to this. It involves a lot of different uh, things, but we need to start talking about it. And that's, that's the main thing I'm pushing for. Let's get the, the NRA, let's get gun owners, let's get Republicans who are, are supported by the NRA to come to the table with pro-gun Democrats and then the president and others to, to talk about this, involve the mental health community, involve uh, everyone. But in the past, I know when I went to Brady, first thing I did is I wrote the, the head of the NRA and said, let's sit down and see if we can find common ground. Never heard from him. Okay. And uh, that's the problem we've got. Lack of communication. In, in some, right. In and, and, and this is where I think we've got some hope now because uh, I heard today that Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia, a Democrat, he's calling for folks to do things. Uh, 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 Joe Scarborough, former Republican who was always supported by the NRA, is saying it's time to rethink this. Uh, to give up and just say there's nothing we can do. We, we didn't do that after terrorist attacks or bus, bus crashes or, or plane crashes. There are things we can do that can make a difference. Senator Dianne Feinstein also came out uh, today and, and uh, had words to say about it. So we want to take a listen to what she had to say about gun control. It will ban the sale, the transfer, the importation. Uh, and the possession, not retroactively, but prospectively. And it will ban the same for big clips, drums, or strips of more than 10 bullets. Okay, actually, she said that yesterday, but she's speaking specifically about assault weapons. Mm -hmm. What can be done? What can Congress or President Obama do to pass a ban if that was, was well, can from, they? From, from 1994 to 2004, we did have restrictions on these so-called mm -hmm. assault weapons. Uh, and these are generally considered to be semi-automatic uh, versions of military-style weapons. Uh, they're not fully automatic. That means you still have to have a trigger twitch. But this is what the fellow used in, uh, in Sandy Hook. This is how he was able to put 11 bullets per student in some of the, or close to 11 bullets per student here, because you can get so many rounds off so quickly. These sorts of things were banned for 10 years. We could do that sort of thing again. And those clips, these are the magazines. Uh, this is what the, the fellow in the Tucson shooting used. He got 30 rounds off before he had to reload. The fellow in uh, Sandy Hook had hundreds of rounds available. You know, this, this, most people don't comprehend how, how severe these weapons are. These aren't obviously what we had at the revolutionary time. These aren't even what, what I had when I was getting my NRA marksmanship badges in, in when I was in high school. This, this is different. The, these are lethal weapons. These are military-style weapons, and we should stop uh, people from having those. We need a better background check system, too, so folks can't uh, get these guns easily. We need to have restrictions on, on perhaps uh, how easy it is to buy some of these things. But to, to give up and just say we can't do anything, to go to the extremes, that isn't going to get it done. Rep Republicans, Democrats, gun owners, non-gun owners need to sit down and say, how do we, you know, what kind of guns should be covered? We, we, we restrict machine guns now. What sort of people should be restricted? We'll go through the steps and see if we can do something. To have this sort of thing, like happened on Friday, become routine in our country, that's, that's, that, that's the biggest tragedy of them all. I don't think anybody wants to see that happen, no. for sure. Okay, Paul Helmke, we're out of time. Okay. Well, Thank you. You're always call, so passionate. Uh, folks should call Donnelly, call Coates, call Stutzman. Get them to speak out because it's the elected officials that need to be doing this then too. All right. Thank you so much. We're going to turn things over to Jonathan with a look at our forecast.